What's up, party animals? My name is Kizzy, and today I wanted to talk about a recent uh, event that happened in Portland, Oregon, and that is the Slavatown Scamper. Now, in Portland and the surrounding areas, there is a pretty decent furry scene, but there is just a lot of drama. I don't know the details and I don't really know the people involved, so I can't really speak much to it, but our host con is called Ferlandia, and it's kind of mid. So I feel like the local furry scene has been itching for just a better, more fun, more sociable, more furry, furry con. Because Ferlandia has just a bad location, it's not a great hotel, and it's just run by people that the community kinda has beef with. So there's a lot of just, there's a lot not good with our local con, and no one really does fur meats. I've tried to do a few myself, but I don't really, <laughs> I don't have the time, energy, or uh, money to try to set anything up. I don't have the people beside me who have like knowledge of venues and stuff like that. So the people who set up the Slab Town Scamper set it up at something called the Lucky Labrador in downtown. And it's in a subset of Portland called Slab Town. And I don't know <laughs> what that means because I don't know the history that well. It's a nicer part of town than the airport, and it's better than most of the other places because a few public transit options are available, it's got like other restaurants, um, and it's a pub. Now I think, I'm not sure if it's a miners or not pub, I know that miners were technically allowed at the event itself, but under strict guidelines it was kind of weird, but otherwise they sell alcohol and food. And that's pretty much what they do. But it's a big open area. You got to play outside. There's some indoor stuff too. Plenty of room for actually a lot of fursuiters and furries to be there for a fur meet. The host, event host, set up a ton of cool stuff. Uh, stuff like sticker boards, games. There were games, I think, just built into the pub itself. And just all sorts of things you can do. And... Again, in a part of town where there's plenty to kind of just see in the vicinity. I was actually able to, I think, I think I got a video of it where I was in full suit and I walked from the where we parked to the event itself and there were all sorts of just fun sights to be seen. People saw me and were like, oh my god, that's crazy and just uh, all around a good time. I wanted to try to take the uh, TriMet lines all the way from where I live to the the event, but it just seemed kind of daunting in such a small group since it was me and one other person. In a bigger group with more fursuiters, I think it would be crazy to do, so keep an eye out for a video like that in the future. But the scamper itself, super fun, super connected. I felt, I felt like that was something I really needed after a long time of no furry events, isolated in a in a farm and like just like nothing going on in my life and I go from all that to oh my god I see all the furries, I see all my friends, I see so much going on in the community, I see a community that is actually building up instead of breaking down where that's been going on for quite some time as Ferlandia and other events kind of just don't happen and so the whole thing just kind of feels the whole fandom out here feels very, very fragmented. And so an event like that, bringing it together just in time for me to actually move up here and have a have the time to actually do it was amazing. The event, again, super well run, but they had like really cool trinkets and stuff like that, some stickers. Uh, they even had like a little plush on display uh, for the event itself. And like there's even like a website being built, so clearly this won't be its last time happening. There's no news on if it'll happen again, or uh, there's no news on when it'll happen again, but it sounds like the hosting place, the Lucky Labrador, really enjoyed having us there. There were no problems. I got <laughs> way too drunk and uh, didn't have a good time, but that was all the way at the end. For the whole event, I was having a great time. It's just that like one of the people in our group kept handing me pictures of alcohol and I kept drinking it and whoops, coyote moments. But like all in all, great event, great people around. And if like 
if you're in the area, try to get going. Um, it's got a website. I got links in the description. A um, bunch of people from Seattle were even coming through. So it was just, it was just a great event. Really well put together. Um, I'm hoping to be able to help out with it someday and help out with more events in the future as I hope the Scamper turns into a full-fledged con. Because this actually got announced kind of after this like fake con kind of came through town where a couple of like what appeared to be meth heads from Florida were trying to host a con in Portland. And on the surface, it sounded awesome. One of the best places to host a small con in Portland is the Doubletree by the Lloyd Center because there's ample transit lines, there's plenty to do in the area, plenty of food options, a giant park for people to hang out and play in. So all in all, it was a great event in concept. But as the people who are running it weren't furries, were being creepy in their DMs, and overall weren't even from the area, it set off too many red flags and the event ended up getting shut down. So the scamper came in immediately after that, almost as if it inspired people. So I'm hoping for a new Portland con to come out of this, or at least just more stuff to do that's furry. And uh, yeah. A uh, simple video today. I do not have the energy to do a whole bunch. Busy, busy, busy week, getting my life started and whatnot. But I appreciate all y'all for sticking with me. I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked any of the footage that I showed. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna do like the little end card video. This might show up, it might not, I don't really know, because I want to show a bunch of stuff, like footage, but I haven't even looked at the footage yet. I'm gonna be editing tomorrow, because it's actually Thursday. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, uh, I might be streaming. Go to my Discord, bye!